Well, good morning, everyone. You know, I, I got to tell you, I'm looking at Trent's notes right here in his Bible, and I'm thinking to myself, and wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that be fun? I actually did that once to uh, the guy, and uh, I thought it was just hysterical. Then he did it to me. So, uh, my name is Steve Walker. I serve as one of your elders and the staff elder liaison here at Faith Community. And I have some very good news. <laughs> but first, a little history. About a year ago, at the end of uh, 2022, you know, our, um, our lead pastor, Jason, resigned. We all wore black armbands, hated to see him go. Uh, but for the past year, in 2023, we've continued to enjoy pretty good teaching from our staff and elders and other very gifted individuals in our body, Dave Gibson, uh, Nate Foreman, Ben Foreman, uh, Brian Bauman, um, right here, and, uh, and others. And we just want to say, when you see these guys, just tell them thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> In our search for a pastor of preaching and vision, we've looked for somebody who was a strong uh, expositional teacher who is gifted with leadership and pastoral ministry. We were looking for a person with uh, some experience. It just couldn't be his first rodeo. We were looking for somebody who would be a good fit with our doctrinal convictions and uh, philosophy of ministry and whose personality and temperament would me mesh with the other present leaders. And we had over a hundred applicants, isn't that amazing? But for one reason or another, we couldn't find the right person. And there were a few that were very promising, but either they weren't ready to leave their present ministry or we, we just didn't feel right about them coming. I couldn't agree on it and didn't think that, that God was in it. And um, we've just learned a lot in the process and I can tell you that we've been very, very cautious knowing that this is a very big decision. Well, about a month ago, one applicant seemed to stick out and he checks a lot of the boxes. And even though he's on the younger side, he seems very mature for his age. He's a graduate of my alma mater, uh, Dallas Seminary. He's been a lead pastor for seven years. His resume uh, survived the initial scrutiny of our sifting team as well as the initial phone interview where we asked him a whole bunch of questions. And then we followed that with a recorded Zoom interview with a gob of very difficult questions. By the way, gob is a biblical unit of measurement. I just thought you'd want to know that. So. And then we followed that with a second Zoom, live Zoom interview with the elders. And then we actually had a third Zoom interview with cleanup questions. And through all those interviews, one of the things we realized, we found him to be winsome and articulate and visionary and thoroughly biblical. So a few weeks ago, Jeremy Putman, one of the elders, and, and I sneaked down to his church in Texas, and we went to a service. We listened to a message. We really we liked the church. We really loved him, and uh, and and so we invited him uh, and his and his family to come up here um, surreptitiously, uh, uh, just to see if voice he could be a place that he would want to live in faith community, a place to serve. Um, and after a weekend here, he and his wife very much were drawn to us and, and to this place. So what's ahead? Uh, well, what's ahead is a candidating weekend where you as the church can meet him and get to know him, listen to a message, uh, hear him be interviewed, maybe ask him some questions of your own and give the Lord an opportunity to confirm in all our hearts whatever his will is. And at the end of that time, at the end of this, that weekend, uh, either right at that weekend or maybe at the latest at the next at our family meeting, we'll give you a chance to give your uh, response, a written response on a card. And I assure you that the elders will read and consider and weigh every single card. And then we'll prayerfully and wisely try to make a final decision whether or not to extend a call uh, to him. So it's not this next weekend, but the following one on January 21st, we intend to bring 
Chad Kettler from Grace Point Church in Texas up here as a candidate for the pastor of Preaching and Vision. We'll be providing more information about him in the coming week on our website and in the uh, weekly email. You could, you'll be able to see his resume and link to, uh, hopefully to a sermon uh, of his. So please be praying for him and his family. He's got some big decisions he'll have to make. And for us uh, as a church body, that we, you know, we have to be together on this. And, uh, we, and just let's pray that the Lord will make clear and confirm the direction that he wants us all to go.